Hey, this is Axlop and I'm gonna go ahead and show you my little workaround. For everyone that doesn't like Star Citizen Alpha 3.2.1's changes to semi-automatic ship weapons. If you aren't familiar with setting up a profile in Joystick Gremlin from scratch, then you're pretty much missing the basics to understand what is going on in this video. So I'd suggest you stop watching right here, go to the description of this video and go to part one where I explain how a joystick gremlin profile is being created and then when you're done with that you come back here and take a look at the actual workaround in joystick gremlin what you got to do is when you have a profile set up in joystick gremlin what you do is you go ahead and create a new mode so we go to tools manage modes click on add mode And under parent in the drop down, we select default, which basically means that the newly created mode will inherit um, everything that is set up in the default mode. So when you don't change anything, it'll just behave exactly like the default mode. Now, the second thing before we actually go ahead and create our macros is in our default mode. You see that in the upper right corner that we're just currently working on the default mode is we have to grab a button, really any button here. I'm, I'm just um, taking one of the base of the T1600 stick. And um, we have to turn this into a switch mode button. So with that button, we'll be able to switch over to our newly created mode with the macros in it. So what we do with this button, we select the button. And over here on the right, in the drop down, I select switch mode, add. And now in here, I select the newly created mode. And that means that when you take a look down here in the bottom left, with this button, we can now switch over to our new mode. All right, so that works. Now for the actual workaround, we go in the top right to our newly created mode. And we select the stick and the button that we want to Put our macros on. In my case, for Fire Group 1 and 2, it's on the Ripple Stick buttons 1 and 2, so it's the dual stage in my case. So I go ahead and select the first button, and here in the drop down, I select Macro, Add, and the top button, we click it twice to add two actions here. By default, it's just going to be pauses, but we're going to change that now. The first action, um, we want to be a button press, and the second one, we want to be a button release. So select the first action. Right here, we go to VJoy because we want to assign a VJoy button of our virtual joystick that we use with Joystick Gremlin. And we select button one because we know our button one is our fire group one and it's a button press that's good and then we select the second action again vjoy button one and we turn that into a button release now i'm going to go ahead and save this and run the profile and now take a look at what happens when i press my first button as you can see, no matter how long I press and hold it, all that's being done is one button press and a quick button release right after it. So our macro is being executed. It's exactly what we want. And we're halfway there. So the only thing left to do now is here at macro settings where it says none, you switch that to hold. And that means that just these two actions are being repeated over and over for as long as you hold your button. And down here where it says delay, um, that just tells the macro how long to wait before it starts over again. So um, the shorter you make that delay, the more often the macro will be executed per second, if that makes sense. So when I run this now and show you what the output is to VJoy, here you see that it keeps repeating button press and button release 
for as long as I hold the button. And that's pretty much everything that's to it. But of course I would have to do this for my second fire group as well. Now I'm going to do that real quick. Add two actions. VJoy, in this case button 2 now. Button press. Do the same for the button release. And don't forget to set it to hold. Save that. Re-execute the profile and see that in the output to VJoy, it works for the second button now as well. Now the only thing that's left to do, <laughs> actually we're done here, but um, the one thing that you would of course have to do now in your newly created mode, you would have to assign a button that takes you back to your default mode because if you don't, you can only switch over to the new mode but not back to the default mode. So that's it, um, and I hope it helps you. And um, have fun with our great new semi-automatic weapons.